Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I am super excited to talk about this amazing tool called Aura.Build. Honestly, when I was looking at certain designs that it has actually built, let's just check out this particular design. Just check out how clean it is, how beautiful it is. I mean, honestly, it's amazing. Let's check out this particular one. Amazing bento grids, amazing animations. Let's check out this one. I actually just really like how it's using typography, how it's really subtly using colors and all of that stuff. I think this is amazing in my opinion. And just check this out. This is also freaking amazing. Just check out the button, check out all of the effects, different styles and stuff along those lines. And we're going to be testing out ourselves right now. So we've already seen how beautifully it creates all of these dark mode websites and landing page websites. But let's ask it to create something really simple. Create a website for a furniture design studio. Just something simple as that. I'm not even going to give it extra prompts. I'm not even going to give it visuals, but we can actually go and I can show you this particular thing. The prompt builder, what it does, it allows you to actually go ahead and add multiple prompts. Like for example, create a landing page. This, these are just some suggestions. Main button, secondary button should be this. Use border gradients for buttons and cards. Change text names, create the hero section. So you can actually go ahead and do that. But the only thing that I think we're going to give is the light mode is going to be the color. Maybe the primary color is going to be this particular one. And let's see if there's anything else that you want to give. Since it's a furniture design website, I actually want it to be classy. So I'm going to choose the typeface family to be this particular one. Uh, let's see. Actually, yeah, I think this makes sense. And let's choose instrumental serif. And then for the body font, let's just go with enter pretty basic. And I think that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and once we've done all of that, we're just going to say add this to the prompt. And at the top, we're just going to say create a website for a future furniture design studio. And let's just see what it does. I may skip this part because it does take a bit of time. Okay, guys, so I think it's done. We gave this a prompt at 1602. It gave us a reply at 1604. In just two minutes, we have this beautiful website. I mean, just check out this header at the top. Check out the nice logo that it actually created. The icons at the top, which seem pretty nice. The background blur on the header, we have some really nice placement on the logos. Some basic icons, which look really nice. Let's check out this curated pieces. Now, it could have done. And we have hover states like new. Check out this stuff and the hover states and on the animations. Is this freaking amazing or what? And by default, if you would expect templates and all of that stuff, they normally would have three cards just side by side sitting really basic. But it's doing something artistic with the furniture design studio as well by placing these slightly up and down as well. Then we have a really nice section like this that looks really nice. I mean, just check out this plus button and how nice it actually looks when I'm hovering over it. I mean, all of these animations, all of these effects, like, is that insane? Like, how can you, how can anyone do this in just two minutes? I mean, my mind is blown. And I also want to point out that it's really easy to actually just check out the code. You can click on code and here is all of the Tailwind code and stuff along those lines. And it's, again, in good markup sections, uh, comments as well, if you want to go ahead and have a look at them. If I click on something, like, for example, if I go to the newsletter section, it's actually going to take me to the newsletter section. So, for example, we have this icon. I actually want to go ahead and align this icon. I can do that directly in code if I want to. Like, for example, for those that do know code, otherwise you can actually do it directly in the design tab as well, which is pretty nice as well. But let's just go ahead and do this one in code so you can see that all of these updates are actually there live. So in order to do this, I'm just going to say this is going to be flex and justify minus center. And that should actually just center it, right? Otherwise, if I did not want it to do that, I don't know code. I can just go into the design tab. I'm just going to click on save here. I come here and then we have this flex center. We can just say it's going to be at the start, this icon. And we're going to see what happens in the code. So if I go to the code, <clears throat> where is the code for this particular section? Here it is. So as you can see, this is something technical that I just want to point out. It's not applying those CSS rules as a style property and overriding the styles that we have with boots with our tailwind classes. Rather, it's actually changing the classes. It's smart enough to know that if I want to go ahead and update alignment or anything along those lines or padding or whatever, it just needs to go ahead and update those classes without uh, creating new styles and like adding inline styles and all of that stuff, which is pretty insane, right? I mean, just check out this particular site. It's pretty much done. Some really nice, beautiful effects and that's done. 
And like, for example, we have this heading that looks really big. We can actually just go to this particular design tab and reduce the size. Like, for example, we have the size written here, 9x large, and it already has these sizes defined. Like, for example, I can say it's going to be 4x large, or let's say it's going to be 6x large. Actually, I think 8x large pretty much makes sense. And it's aligning this to the bottom, which looks really nice because it's artistic. It's not just normally vertically centered, which you would expect in a normal in a lot of websites. Very similarly, I can actually go ahead and reduce the padding from the top. I think this should be 24 because it's maybe not 24, maybe 32. And that's pretty much it. We have this beautiful website created in front of us, really easy and easy to modify. And if I want to go ahead and actually publish it, let me just save that as well. If I want to go ahead and publish it, I click on the publish button, just generate a few, wait a few seconds for it to generate the metadata. And I have a beautiful website directly at here. And just like that, I'm just going to publish it and we're going to see it. And another thing that I actually want to point out is, let's say it's published here. <clears throat> So as you can see, this beautiful website is just published. I can share that with a client. I mean, is this insane or what? I don't know what happened to this particular piece. Maybe I did not save it correctly or something along those lines. So let's just go to it. And actually, I think I updated that, right? I was sharing how to actually go ahead and put, put, push it to the start. One other thing that I do want to point out, it's really easy to update the colors here as well. Like, for example, if I don't like these colors, if I want to go with, let's say, this tone color, it's going to update these colors and icons all throughout really easily. I can go with slate, something like this. I can go ahead and choose the colors, like make it actually dark mode. I click on dark mode and it's pretty much dark. The whole website is dark. Obviously, they kept this section slightly light and all of that stuff. I mean, am I insane? Like, what exactly am I looking here? This is freaking insane. Very similarly, there's also one other thing that I do want to highlight. If you go to the asset section, you can see all of the visual assets that are used in this page. And if I want to go ahead and update it, it's really easy. I just go ahead and type furniture and I don't like this picture. I don't even have to select it. I can go into my assets and I can say, instead of this particular piece, why don't we use a piece like, I don't know, this. And it's just going to directly update that particular thing based on wherever it was located. If this was located in multiple places, obviously we can go ahead and change that from here as well. And one other thing which we don't need in a classy website like this is they actually have really awesome components from Unicorn Studio directly coming that we can include directly on our pages. Like for example, let me just see of a particular component that's going to look really nice for this particular type of website. Um... <clears throat> Most of these usually work really well in dark mode SaaS websites, but I think this can potentially work to use this particular one. If we just click on it and there you go, this is it. And it basically just applies that beautiful effect directly in the back. If I want to change something, like if I'm scrolling down, as you can see, this particular effect scrolls with me. I can say it shouldn't scroll. It should remain at the top. So we're going to say absolute. And I can go ahead and change the hue. Like, for example, if I actually want it to be a different color slightly, like I can play around with the hue here and it's going to change that color to match my theme. If I think the effect is a bit too much, uh, I can actually go ahead and reduce the saturation as well. I can reduce the brightness. Let's go ahead and actually reduce the opacity slightly. So the effect is there, but it's not as prominent. And honestly, this is freaking insane. I don't know what people are doing if they're not using this tool, especially those that don't have the time to actually go ahead and um, hire expensive designers and stuff along those lines. Obviously, if you need next level work, like for example, the work that we do, you definitely would need certain designers like us. Like for example, let's just check out some of the work that we've done here. Check out this beautiful website that we have, some beautiful animations that we have and all of that stuff. So if you need this level of work, obviously you need to hire someone like us or other others like us that do this level of work. But for someone who's looking for a nice website really easily, I mean, this is your tool. I don't I would I don't really know why anyone would not use it. Then we have this awesome background at the top. We have this artistic website. And honestly, mind blown. So I would definitely recommend us designers to actually check out and be acquainted with AI because I think this is doing a marvelous job at it. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you later. Take care.